Hi everybody. Okay, today we're going to be looking at a page entitled Web Rhythms Exercise Number 5. This page is taken from a lesson series on VicFirth.com on the VicFirth website in their education section that's called Norm Weinberg's Web Rhythms. It's been around for years and years and uh, it's a really, really useful tool for trying to help teach yourself and help practice uh, reading of different types of rhythms. So I recommend it if you ever want to go check that out. Today what I'm going to be doing is playing through several different um, measures from the, the page of Web Rhythms exercise number five. And I'm going to be playing through the rhythms once incorrectly and then once correctly. Uh, and it's going to be your job to identify which of my performances is an incorrect execution of the rhythm on the page and which of them is the correct execution of the rhythm on the page. This page focuses on dotted rhythms and tied notes. Uh, for playing on a snare drum, unless we're playing rolls, since the snare drum doesn't resonate with any significance, we're just playing the beginnings of any note, the attack of any note, and we're having to think through or count through in our mind or even out loud, which I recommend. We count through the sustain of the note uh, so that we know where we are in time and we know when our next note that has to be played starts and then we play the attack of that note on the snare drum. So it's different than the way a wind player or a vocalist would approach it or any even a percussion instrument that actually resonates significantly where we would actually be letting the note sustain uh, through the full rhythmic value instead of just playing the attack. But right now on a drum pad or on a snare drum we're just concerned with the attacks of these rhythms. Okay. I'm going to be playing with a metronome, which is going to be playing quarter notes at 60 beats per minute. That's one, two, three, four, or one and two and three and four and, those are eighth notes, or thinking of sixteenth notes like one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a, okay? Hey, look. I'm also not going to be counting out loud through any of the rhythms while I'm playing. So you need to make sure you're counting and comparing what I'm playing against what you're counting to see if it matches. It's also worth noting that I'm not going to be playing any releases at the end of the measures. All I'm going to be playing are the actual notes shown on the screen that are in the measures that I mentioned. No extra note on the downbeat of what would be the next measure, okay? No releases. Yo, also worth noting, all of these excerpts are in 4-4 time. Even though it doesn't show a time signature or anything except for measure one, they're all in 4-4 time. So, four quarter notes per measure. Let's begin. We'll start with measure one and simply play that, that single measure by itself. This is version A. I want you to tell me whether, whether or not version A is correct or whether or not version B is correct. Version A. One, two, ready, go. This is version B. One, two, ready, go. Okay, here's measures three and four back to back. This is version A. One, two, ready, go. Okay, here's measures three and four, version B. One, two, ready, go. This is measure nine and measure 10, back to back. Version A, one, two, ready, go. Okay. 
This is version B of measures 9 and 10. Ready? Go. And here's measures 17 and 18. This is version A. One, two, ready, go. Measure 17 and 18, this is version B. One, two, ready, go. All right, here's measures 25 and 26, back to back. This is version A. One, two, ready, go. And this is version B of measures 25 and 26. One, two, ready, go. All right, this is measure 33 and 34. Here's version A. One, two, ready, go. Measures 33 and 34, here's version B. One, two, ready, go. All right, here's measures 37 and 38. This is version A. One, two, ready, go. All right, measures 37 and 38. Here's version B. One, two, Ready, go. And finally, let's look at measures 35 and 36. Here's version A. One and two and ready, go. Here's version B of measures 35 and 36. One and two and ready, go. All right, that's it. I hope you did well.